Good evening. Time now for midweek sports. We start with triathlon news tonight. More than 200 students rose early last Sunday to stretch their legs in this year's edition of the K-Kids Triathlon. Our community's younger generation, generation showed up at the Kamana Bay to show that they have the fight against child obesity handled by tackling the swim, bike and run at the Cayman International School as part of a team or individually. And we got some of their reactions afterwards. I wasted all my energy in the beginning though, so I didn't do too well in the end. Good job, keep going. I did all of the events and it is really tiring. That way. It was hard, but fun and tiring. My shoe came off. It's a nice challenge to competing. It's been a fantastic turnout, great support from families, from parents, and from all the schools. So thank you to everyone coming out. My friends cheered me on. That was the best part of it. It was really fun. Well, on the day, it wasn't about who won or lost in last Sunday's KK's triathlon, but more importantly, it got some of our students active and interacting with each other. So good job by some of the students there. Moving on to some football now, and the final first-round playoff matches in the CUC Primary School Leagues were held this past Saturday at the Annex. In the Under-9 Champions Cup, Georgetown Primary, Cayman Prep, St. John St. John Cumber, and St. Ignatius advanced. There's Coach Cheeky giving some instructions, and those teams advanced to the semifinals after another exciting day at the Annex. With the bigger players in the under-11s, it was St. Ignatius and Prospect that moved on. They will be joined by either Georgetown or Cayman Prep in this weekend's semifinals. Fantastic goal there by those youngsters. And these boys will be moving on to this weekend's semifinals. Let's move on to some cricket now. And Omar Willis stole the show as the day's best batsman to help East End win the New Testament Church annual cricket competition this past Monday. Willis's innings that led East End to victory wasn't the only special occasion on the day. He hit the winning knock in memory of his father, the late Rudolph Willis, who the tournament is named after. It had all the flavor of an international cricket affair. Colored clothing for the players, fans cheering with their tambourines, and their own play-by-play -play commentator. And even some domino games to fill the atmosphere on the day at the Smith Road Oval. But it was all in the memory of the former pastor, who loved the game of cricket almost as much as he loved the people of East End, who the church continues to help with donations from the w Rudolph Willis Fund. It's always a pleasure to be here and see the excitement and the enthusiasm of everyone as they, you know, memory in, in memory of Rudolph. And um, it just goes to show that people still recognize him and still, you know, benefit from the hard work that he has done. He had a deep passion for the community of East End and for the, for the short period of time in which he labored there, he invested a lot in that community. So the funding is, is in aid to carry on the mission of his, of his work. We look forward to, to come out and, uh, on a day like this and to share the excitement. And um, it's really a good atmosphere where the churches can come together and share in this great spirit of cricket.